your opponents can now telegraph your drop shots. So what are you going to do about that? Well, let's take a look at this point here. I'm the one serving. Andrew's the one returning here. And that's what I call a chip backhand. And so let's take a look at what I did here. Um, I served out wide. And now, um, you know, Andrew knows my game here. Um, I often go for drop shots now, especially on my backhand side. And so you really need to be very uh, strategic about how you use your drop shots, right? You can't just use them all the time. Uh, you got to throw in something else that kind of works almost as similar as a drop shot. And that's a chip backhand, right? So I went with this chip backhand that traveled low and got past Andrew here. And the goal with the chip backhand, right? The chip backhand is a very low slice backhand that travels um, fast com compared to a drop shot, right? So the goal, right, is to make it bounce very low so that the second bounce happens very quickly. It, it, it almost takes um, no time at all for that second bounce to happen. Um, so here's the first bounce, and then the second bounce happens it's very quick and so it can go past Andrew here or it can just just be a very unexpected shot for the opponent where you think it's a drop shot you think you have time to get there but no it's not going to be slow it's actually going to, going to be a very quick slice and you have to really chase for that ball before it lands the second time so try to go for these chip backhands here and there to catch your opponents off guard. Once your opponents start telegraphing your drop shots, it's going to be tough, right? They're gonna anticipate every drop shot that you do. You just have to open the face, right? And your opponents will, will get there. Throw this chip backhand in and your drop shots can still remain effective. If you enjoyed this video, kindly do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.